ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸರಸ್ವತ್ಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಜನಕಲ್ಯಾಣ ನಿರತ ಕರುಣಾಮಯ ನಮಿ ಚಿನ್ಮಯ ದೇವ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ವರ ಮೂಕ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲ ಪಂಕು ಲಂಘಯತೆ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕೃಪಾತಮಹಂ ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ and they requested me to take brahma sutra one session i asked them who will be the audience so they told swami ji various people will be there some who know vedanta some who are new then i asked them then do you think that i should take brahma sutra or what do you say and they said swami ji what is your suggestion and i said why can't we take something very simple which everybody will be able to and it can be a kind of satsang not necessarily a very scholastic exposition but something which will be useful for everybody so everybody like that idea then i started thinking what text there is a text called vakya vritti but that's 54 verses i think too long but uh, there's another text called lagu vakya vritti authored by shankara acharya not much known hmm? how many of you heard of this text please so there are yes there are some 10 people i can see their hands raised how many of you have studied that text now here we have four people who have raised their hands so i'm very happy i chose a text not many have studied <coughs> but i want to ask also one thing more i know i have been attending the programs from shastrartha sadas just now to morning various programs how many of you um, would say that they have studied the upanishads the bhagavad gita and the brahma sutra okay how many of you would say that you have studied a few prakrana granthas like veeka chitamani tattva vedanta how many of you would say that you are very new to vedanta okay so here again my guess was right so all the audience varieties are there all right so let us go to the text proper hmm. this text is called lagu vakya vritti vakya means sentence vritti means elaboration so vakya vritti means elaboration on the sentence literal meaning the question comes what sentence in vedanta we have certain sentences called maha vakya so it is a elaboration on the maha vakya you may wonder why is that sentence taken for elaboration because that is the epitome of the vedantic teaching that is the final message and that is the liberating message that gives the liberating message 
ಸೊ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇನ್ ವಾಕ್ಯವೃತ್ತಿ ಅ ನೈಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ತತ್ವಮಸ್ಯಾದಿ ವಾಕ್ಯೋತ್ತಮ್ ತತ್ವಮಸ್ಯಾದಿ ವಾಕ್ಯೋತ್ತಮ್ ಯಜ್ಜೀವ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನೋ ತಾದಾತ್ಮ್ಯ ವಿಷಯ ಜ್ಞಾನ ತದಿದ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಸಾಧನ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸಚ್ ಎಸ್ ತತ್ವಮಸಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಮ್ ಅರೈಸ್ ದ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಮ್ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನೋ ತಾದಾತ್ಮ್ಯ ವಿಷಯ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲಿಬರೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ದ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲಿಬರೇಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸಟನ್ಲಿ ಬಿಹೋಸ್ ದ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಎಲಾಬ್ರೇಟ್ ನಾವು ಇನ್ ತತ್ವಮಸಿ ದ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಟೇಕನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಲಾಬ್ರೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಾರಿ ಇನ್ ವಾಕ್ಯವೃತ್ತಿ ದ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಟೇಕನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಲಾಬ್ರೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ತತ್ವಮಸಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ಲಘು ವಾಕ್ಯವೃತ್ತಿ ದ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಟೇಕನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಹಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಸ್ಮಿ ರಿಯಲಿ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಒನ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅನದರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ತಾದಾತ್ಮ್ಯ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ಅಂತ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಎಟ್ ಈಚ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿ ಐ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ಅನೆಕ್ಡೋಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೈಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚು ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ದ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯಸ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಸಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟೆಲಿಜೆಂಟ್ ಮಹಾತ್ಮ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪುಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯಸ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ದ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಗೋಸ್ ಟು ದ ಗುರು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಈ ಆಸ್ ದ ಗುರು ಗುರು ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ದ ಗುರು ರಿಪ್ಲೈಸ್ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾನ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಓಕೆ ದನ್ ದ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಆಸ್ ದ ಗುರು ವೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ದ ಗುರು ರಿಪ್ಲೈಸ್ ತತ್ವ ಮಸಿ ದನ್ ದ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಆಸ್ ನೋ ಆಸ್ ಸೂನ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಗುರು ಹಿಯರ್ಸ್ ದ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಹಿಯರ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಗುರು ತತ್ವ ಮಸಿ ಹಿ ಕಿಟ್ಸ್ ದ ರಿಯಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಈ ಸೇಸ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಅಹಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಸ್ಮಿ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ಹಿ ಆಸ್ ದ ಗುರು ವಾಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಐ ಡೂ ನೌ ದೆನ್ ದ ಗುರು ಸೇಸ್ ಯು ಡೂ ದ ಅನುಸಂಧಾನ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಯು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಯು ಅಬೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಎಂ ಆತ್ಮ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ಫೋರ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಸರ್ ಪುಟ್ಟು ಬದ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅನೆಕ್ಡೋಟ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೈವ್ಡ್ ಅನೆಕ್ಡೋಟ್ ಐ ಇಟ್ ಸೇ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾನ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಉಪದೇಶ ಇಟ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಯು ದ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ತತ್ವ ಮಸಿ ಸೊ ಗುರು ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ದ ಉಪದೇಶ ಸೊ ಉಪದೇಶ ವಾಕ್ಯ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಅಹಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಸ್ಮಿ ದೇಫೋ ಅನುಭವ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ಹೌ ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಅಬೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಡು ಅನುಸಂಧಾನ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಅನುಸಂಧಾನ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ವೇ ಸಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟೆಲಿಜೆಂಟ್ ಐ ಹರ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಗುರುದೇವ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಚಿನ್ಮಯಾನಂದಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಹೀ ಸೆಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಹೀ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಐ ಲಿಸನ್ ಟು ಇಟ್ ಐ ಫೆಲ್ಟ್ ವಾವ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅ ನೈಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಲ್ ರೈಟ್ so we enter into the mahavakya now mm-hmm. what is mahavakya mahavakya as i said gives you the knowledge of the identity of the self and the brahman jivatma and paramatma therefore you can say mahavakya to be jiva brahmaikya bodakam vakyam right so if you want to say mahavakya in one single line say jeeva brahmaikya bodhakam vakyam that
even though we say prajnanam brahma then then tattvam asi then aham brahmasmi then i am atma brahma from each of these vedas you know rikyaju samatarva even though we have taken one sample from each of the vedas it doesn't mean only these are the four mahavakyas any statement which reveals the identity is a mahavakya hmm? that therefore every upanishad will have a mahavakya we should keep that in mind because why every upanishad is revealing the knowledge of the identity of the self with brahman now you take ishavasya upanishad the very first line ishavasya midam sarvam is a mahavakya take no upanishad hmm? anya deva tat vidita tato avidita adhi that is the mahavakya now go to isha kena kata go to kato upanishad e tad vaitat is a mahavakya now even if you go to minor upanishads as they call huh? those upanishads which are not the dasha upanishads say kaivalya upanishad tatvame vatvame vatat tatvame vatvame vatat that is a mahavakya so every upanishad will have a mahavakya all right so with this brief introduction let us now go into the text we have three sessions we have 18 verses okay so we are having one session now which will have to end at 8 o'clock second session tomorrow will be from morning 7 to 8 third session will be evening 7 to 8 hmm? it's a very loose text uh, lagu vakya vritti and as compared to vakya vritti it is more simpler and therefore the titling as lagu is indeed very true not only the number of verses is less but also the way of presentation also is very very simple and what is so beautiful about lagu vakya vritti it is, is that it is not only it not only reveals the vedanta but also makes it very practical he gives us the method shankaracharya here gives us a method whereby even as we are listening to the text we shall be easily able to you know know how to practice to come to this understanding this i found to be very very beautiful it has got some amount of technicality but the beauty is the practicality here hmm? you will watch as we go we will we will see so we start the first verse bang it starts not usually you know i worship bhagwan this that and all those things and two verses go and then tells the sadhana chatushtaya this that and all those things then anubandha chatushtaya nothing straight to the point okay all right so now let us read the first verse i shall read i'm sure the paper is with all of you hmm? how would you like i think i should decide rather than ask and create confusion we'll do one thing just for the sake of those who are new i can see some brahmacharis and all of them also sitting here so i will chant half pada please repeat then at the end we'll chant the whole verse together okay i request forgiveness from the great scholars present because they say what is this swam ji we will read together but i think for the sake of all hmm? स्थूल मंसमो देह सूक्ष्म सैत्वासनामय ज्ञानकर्मेन्द्रिय साधप्राण तरीरग स्थूल मंसमो देह दीप्राण तरीर घो दिस इज द फेमस शाखा चंद्र न्याय द मेथडालजी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द क्रॉस गो टू द सेटल वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू एक्चुअली शो इज समथिंग but what you are starting with is showing something which the other person can easily see hmm? from the known to the unknown so shakha is that moon shakha shakha is the branch shakha chandra chandra is the moon the third day moon is a very thin it's a thin 
semi circle na uh, crescent it's a thin crescent so in order to point that out what they do is that uh, you know first they say look at the tree then look at the branch the person actually wants to see the moon you want to show the moon only but you start with showing the tree uh, so shaka chandraknyaya so first what is done is that the stula sharira is shown then you go to sukshma sharira subtler then you go to karana sharira subtlest right and then what you do is that beyond that you show the consciousness that's a technique this is called shaka chandraknyaya going from the gross to the subtle so first stula sharira is taken up gross body is a physical body and what is said there stulo mamsamayo deha what is a stula sharira the stula sharira is this body deha and how is this deha mamsamaya mamsamaya made of flesh made of flesh mamsa rakta asti charma etc mamsa is flesh charma is the skin asti is the bone rakta is the blood so on and so forth all these things are physical all these things are physical means what what is physical in vedanta yad indriyaihi what is known through the indriyas is stula right indriyo what is known through the indriya that is called as stula so stulo mamsamayo deha over finished one step is over next step is what sukshma hasyad vasana maya so stula sharira is over now the attention is taken to the sukshma sharira what is sukshma sharira vasana maya here vasana means desires so vasana maya means what which is maya here stands for pradhana what is predominantly of the nature of desire and for and the rest so from desire comes you know all the various thoughts kama krodha loba ah uh, also other shubha vrittis shubha vasana ashubha vasana all those kind of things therefore vasana maya so that which is made of the good thoughts the noble thoughts and the ignoble thoughts vasana maya and what is sukshma sharira is only that no there's something more to that jnana karmendriyaihi sardham di pranav so jnana karmendriyaihi sardham and the sukshma sharira is predominantly the mind yes but there are other things which go into that what is that jnana karmendriya so jnana karmendriya jnanendriya phai karmendriya phai well known jnanendriya phai shrotram thuk chakshu rasana ghranam i am not translating into english ha huh? and then we go to the karmendriya vak pani pada payu pasta so all these things also sardam sardam along with all right then what else is there di pranav can you see that di pranav so di pranav the dual di and prana therefore di pranav di here buddhi but buddhi here refers to the mind also so manas and buddhi all right then what is a prana prana is a five fold prana prana apana vyana udana samana so now totally calculate how much it will be there five jnanendriya five karmendriya five prana manas and buddhi total it will be 17 so sapta dasha kala we say all of them where are they tat sharira gau tat sharira gau means what they are all present in the body so first body was brought to our attention now what is inside the body is brought to our attention and what is that sukshma sharira so stula is over sukshma is over now what about the next now see next was let us go agnyanam karanam sakshi ಬೋಧಸ್ತಾಂ ವಿಭಾಸಕ ಬೋಧಾಭಾಸೋ ಬುಧಿಗತ 
कर्ता सैत्पुण्यपाप अज्ञान कारण साक्षी सो स्थूल ओवर सूक्ष्म ओवर नौ कारण वाट इस कारण शरीर स्थूल सूक्ष्म कारण द फिजिकल द क्रॉस सूक्ष्म द सटल नौ कारण स्टिल मोर डीपर दैट विच कासस एवरी थिंग वाट इस दैट अज्ञान कारण सिंपल अज्ञान कारण अज्ञान इस कारण शरीर Why is Agniana called Karana Sharira? Agniana veils the self. Once the self is veiled, then the problem starts. Since Agniana is the cause of all problems, Agniana is called as Karana. Once the self is veiled, then the identification will begin with the stula and the sukshma also. So Agniana becomes a cause for all these. Also. the mind intellect and all merges in the karana sharira they go and disappear and they become seedal within the karana sharira therefore also they called agnana is called karana sharira agnanam karanam when do we experience this agnana we experience this agnana in deep sleep in deep sleep what is experienced as absence what is experienced as just a dense nothingness that is agnana that agnana that bhava roopa agnana so this is the karana sharira so up to this thula sukshma karana was mentioned but the purpose of all these things is to take us to that which is beyond so what is the intent for bringing presenting the stula sukshma and karana in order to point out what is the true self this is not the self we take ourselves to be the body we take ourselves to be the mind we take ourselves to be the karana sharira and this is how we live our life now but this is not you in order to tell there is something more than that now what is being presented who am i i am the one which knows is it not i am the one which knows all of us consider ourselves to be the knower the seer but the stula sukshma karana sharira is not the seer not the knower to tell this what is the nature of the self it comes sakshi bodaha tesham vibhasakaha the idea is to present us to the self and what is the self self is a knower i am the knower i am not the known therefore in order to point out the knower it is said sakshi bodaha you see stola sukshma karana but do, do you experience the knowledge which knows all these that bodaha and how do you understand that bodaha look at what is that within you which is aware sakshat ikshate iti sakshi what is that which is knowing the stula sukshma and karana sharira that sakshi and that sakshi has to be of the nature of knowledge because it is knowing the knower cannot be inert and therefore sakshi bodaha tesham vibhasakaha tesham stula sukshma karana tesham of all of them vibhasaka vibhasaka means what illumines so when we say illumines there are two things there swayam bhati anyan vibhati in kata upanishad we have this bhati va vibhati vibhasaka to illumine something to make something appear first it has to be present first basanam should be there before vibhasanam can happen 
and therefore vibhasakha is to tell it self shines bodaha swaprakasha but what happens it provides the satta and the spurti for the stula sukshma and karana that is why vibhasakha and that is how you know when uh, sakshi is defined no? so you have a famous definition in dridrishi viveka no deti nastametyesha na vriddhim yati nakshayam svayam vibhati ath anyan api basayet sadhanam vina so that consciousness vibhati visheshena bhati what do you mean by visheshana visheshana means specially it shines what is the meaning of the what is the meaning of the special shine the special shine is that its shine does not reduce it ever remains uniform and same so one vibhati vibhas see here vibhasaka is said what is that vishesha number one vishesha is that it shines self shines number 1 swaprakasha and at the same time it gives existence and spurana for the stula sukshma and karana sharira that is the first vishesha and what is the second vishesha vishesha means what is the speciality about that shine the second speciality about the shine is that it is a ceaseless uniform single shine so it it is aware and when when we say it is aware it is conscious it illumines we say it remains the same way always so vibhasakaha so now what all has been pointed out stula sukshma karana has been pointed out and stula sukshma karana these are all jada so they cannot shine by themselves therefore there is something which is making them shine when we say something which is making them shine means what there is something which is illumining them because of which we see them therefore the question comes who is that illuminator that illuminator is bodha swarupa and what is the beauty of that illuminator the beauty of the illuminator is it is sakshi what do you mean by sakshi sakshat ikshate sadhanam vina it illumines by itself without the necessity of another any other instrumentation to know for example i see this plate this plate i see first eyes are see but eyes cannot see by themselves eyes require the instrumentation of light mind also sees them but mind cannot see it by itself mind requires the instrumentation of the eye eye requires the instrument of the means of the light so many things are there but consciousness illumines the body mind and intellect how by itself without the requirement for any other instrument swayam so when shankaracharya says here sakshi is helping us identify what is that what is that in you which just to knows without any need for i any need of meaning any need of i means what any need of senses any need of mind what is that which illumines the stula sukshma and karana find that out you have found yourself sakshi bodaha tesham vibhasakaha these are all the clues he is providing sakshi first check out what is that which is illumining everything without any need of any assistance or medium bodaha vibhasakaha so after that's explaining the stula sukshma karana and the sakshi then he comes on to say who is that which what we are saying now was i we are saying i i i who is that i it is not that we do not know the i but we have thought something which is not the i as i so what is that what is that i say i am i referring to the pure consciousness no without studying vedanta it will not come but now i say in the realm of ignorance i what is that i 
this is the pure i which vedanta wants to take you but i have to explain what is the i i am experiencing now as i so explaining that bodha bhasah buddhi katah now there is a abhasa there is a abhasa there is a appearance that bodha which was said tesham vibhasakah that sakshi what was said that bodha that bodha has got a abhasa abhasa means shadow abhasa means reflection so when we stand in a mirror in front of the mirror there is a reflection that is called as abhasa in the same way that bodha which is actually me which is sakshi which is that vibhasakah that is my that is me actually but now when i say i what am i referring to i am referring to the i which is reflected in the buddhi bodha bhasah look at that buddhigatah buddhigatah means what which is appearing at the level of the buddhi so consciousness appearing at the level of the buddhi that i take it to be the self now but actually that is not the self that is only the reflection of yourself bodha bhasah this bodha bhasah usually we refer to it by the term chida bhasah well known term sometimes the word is used chichaya so these are the terms chida bhasah chichaya here in this text bodha bhasah bodha bhasah buddhi kata fallen reflecting at the level of the buddhi i experience myself to be the karta is it not now when i say i now i am the speaker now when you say i you would say i am the listener now when you are eating you would say i am the eater perceiver feeler thinker so that that perceiver feeler thinker you keep on saying you know so that this is how i know myself to be myself yes karta this is that karta doer when we say when we say karta what it means is that there is a sense of i am doing is it not body is doing but when the body is doing i have a sense of i am doing who is that i identified with the body who says i am doing when the body is walking it says i am walking when the body is sit- sitting who is that which says i am sitting who is that or when the indriyas are expressing talking seeing pashyan shrinvan sprushan jigran ashnan gachan swapan swashan pralapan etc 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 who is that who is saying i i i i i i i this is the i that we know now and that what is that i that i is your reflection my dear it is not you bodha bhasa and you are you can very well experience that buddhi gata is it not you experience it at the level of your thoughts buddhi gata karta karta syat karta of what of all the actions punya papayo be it punya be it papa it doesn't matter it is the karta of all the actions punya karma and the papa karma the noble and the ignoble actions it is a karta of all i am actually bodha but i am appearing as bodha bhas stula sukshma karana sakshi bodha vibhasakah that is what i am but now what is my experience of me karta who is this karta bodha bhasah buddhigatah karta syat punya papayo ho all right now we go to the third verse the third verse once karta happens what will happen next one what will have to follow naturally bhokta has to happen yah karta sa eva bhokta 
ಅಂದ್ ಕರ್ತಾ ಭೋಕ್ತ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಸಂಸಾರ ಐ ಡೂ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಹ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಪಾಪ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಹವ್ ಡನ್ ಐ ಹ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಸುಖ ದುಃಖ ಅಂಡ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಪಾಪ ದ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರಲಮ್ ವೇರ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಾಪ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಸಂಸಾರ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಐ ಡೂ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರೀಪ್ ದ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ದ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಐ ರೀಪ್ ದ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಐ ರೀಪ್ ದ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಟು ರೀಪ್ ದ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸಂಸರಣ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಫಾರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಕರ್ತ becoming bhokta and having the samsarana or having the samsara let us read the verse sayeva samsaret karma sayeva samsaret karma vasha lokadvaye sada vasha lokadvaye sada bodha bhasat shuddha bodham ಬೋಧಾಭಾಸಾತ್ ಶುದ್ಧ ಬೋಧ ವಿವಿಚ್ಯಾದ್ ಅತಿಯತ್ನತ ಸ ಸಂಸರೇತ್ ಕರ್ಮ ವಶಾ ಲೋಕತ್ವೇ ಸದಾ ತಥ ಕರ್ಮ ವಶಾಲ್ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಪದ ಫಾರ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಬ್ರೋಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಿಡಲ್ ಸೇವ ಸಂಸರೇತ್ ಸಹೇವ ಸಂಸರೇತ್ ಯಹ ಕರ್ತ ಸೇವ ಸಂಸರೇತ್ ದಟ್ ಕರ್ತ ದಟ್ ಕರ್ತ ಅಲೋನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮೈಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಊಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕರ್ತ ಬುದ್ಧಿಗತ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಫಾಲನ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಟ್ರೂ ದ ಟ್ರೂ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಅವಭಾಸಕ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬುದ್ಧಿ not that pure consciousness that pure consciousness bodha swarupa which became bodha bhasa at the level of the buddhi that bodha bhasa which later on identified itself with the stula sukshma and karana sharira and identifying with the stula sukshma and karana sharira became the karta sa eva that karta eva karma vashat because he has already performed karma he has already performed karma and therefore once he has performed karma then karma will have karma phala so karma vashat means what that karma which becomes karma phala karma phala vashat that karma phala vashat means what that entire karma combined you know collected together sanchita from that sanchita one packet pictures according to the time and according so karma vashat prarabdha karma vashat sayeva that that very same karta that very same fellow karma vashat because of this karma because of the mich of the because of this prarabdha karma what happens lokadvaye sada samsaret sada sada anavaratam without uh, without any kind of remission without any kind of cessation without any kind of rest ease relaxation sada non stop the fellow is ever on doing and experiencing mode sada anavaratam lokadvaye what is this lokadvaya usually we can speak of we know of lokatraya or we know of seven lokas now what is this lokadvaya lokadvaya is ih amutra here and the hereafter it could be anything it could be swarga it could be naraka it could be any kind of and if you talk of ih it could be stavara it could be manushya it could be pashu it could be pakshi i am not translating all these to ma it all whatever it may be anavaratam sada samsaret samsaret means what he goes on and on round and round in this chakkar who not that bodha but bodha bhasa not the one which is sakshi but the one which is buddhigatha 
स ये संसारेत सो देर फोर यू सी देर आर टू थिंग्स विच आर स्टैंडिंग अ पार्ट वेरी डिस्टिंक्ट वन इज बोध अनदर इज बोधाभास वन इज अकर्ता अभोक्ता अनदर इज कर्ता भोक्ता वन इज साक्षी चेता केवलो निर्गुणश्च अनदर इज बुद्धिगत संसारी सो दर इज टू थिंग्स आर स्टैंडिंग अ पार्ट डिस्टिंक्ट but what has happened now today i have taken myself to be this bodha bhasa whereas vedanta is telling my real nature to be bodha but bodha has become identified with bodha bhasa because it looks similar it looks similar and therefore there is a confusion which has happened now what should be done the problem is very simple therefore and what is that we have to understand who i am the problem is simple whereas a solution takes time but identifying the problem is very important to track out the solution what is the problem the problem is taking misunderstanding ourselves to be bodha bhasa when we are bodha the problem is taking ourselves to be chidha bhasa when we are chit this is the problem therefore what should be done now since the solu- problem has been identified the solution is also clear what is it see them separately don't see them together that's all this is the only solution because that is the only problem solution has to be based on the problem if the problem is taking oneself to be somebody else the solution would be what seeing oneself to be not that but since both of them are resembling you know very very you know very close therefore what we should do differentiate them and see next line बोधा बासा शुद्ध बोधम विविच्या दिस इज वॉट यू हेव टू डू बोधा बासा बोधा बास वी हेव सीन फ्रॉम द बोधा बास शुद्ध बोधम शुद्ध बोधम द प्योर कॉन्शियसनेस द प्योर नॉलेज विविच्या डिफरेंशिएट सी द सेपरेटनेस see the difference see one to be at the realm of the buddhi another to be beyond the buddhi track out them differentiate them see the distinction vivichyat vivichyat means what differentiate so bodha bhasat jiva that is a jiva samsare that is a jiva karta bhokta that is a jiva so from the jiva what you should do differentiate the bodha shuddha bodha shuddha bodha is paramatma so from the jivatma the jivatma and the paramatma you differentiate bodha bhasat from the jivatma differentiate the paramatma because you are paramatma it is not just differentiating jivatma and paramatma it is differentiating the paramatma from the jivatma because you are that paramatma avichara kruto bandaha vicharena nivartate tasma jiva paratmanau sarvadaiva vicharayet avichara kruto bandaha bandha is caused by not distincting not sorry bandha is caused by not dis not distinguishing liberation is caused by what distinguishing knowing the distinction that's all is to be done is there a word called distinguishing yeah it's there it's there bandha is caused by not seeing the difference liberation is caused by knowing the difference बोधात बास बोध बोधा बासा शुद्ध बोधम विविच्यात एंड देन इट इज सेड अति यत्नतः प्रॉब्लम इज सिंपल बट सोल्यूशन विल टेक टाइम माय डियर अति यत्नतः 
ಯತ್ನತ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ಅತಿ ಯತ್ನತ ವಿತ್ ಲಾಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಲಾಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ದ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಟಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಶ್ರವಣ ಮನನ ನಿರಿಧ್ಯಾಸನ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಟೇಕ್ ಅತಿ ಯತ್ನ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ಜಸ್ ದಟ್ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಹಾಫ್ ಹಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಸಿ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ದಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ವರ್ಕ್ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ರೆಡಿ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಸಿ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೆಡಿ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಸಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ವಿ ಎಂಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಯು ಸಿ ಇಟ್ ದ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಈಸಿ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿ then you start and you find it's not that easy then you'll give up in the middle the right atiyatnata this you have to put effort why we have to put effort because first we have to understand that takes time then even though we understand doubts will be there we have to dispel those doubts that takes its own time and even if doubts have been dispelled because for long time we have been living ourselves with the strong feeling that i am this bodha bhasa suddenly even though we may understand suddenly to give it up and then really feel it takes more time i'll tell you an example huh? my earlier name as brahmachari was samahi chaitanya then when i was given sanyasa my name became swami advayananda guruji swami tejo mahinji gave me sanyas must have been next day or something he called me when i was just going advayananda he called me i went walking advayananda i heard some sound but i did not recognize it is me then samahit that was my samahi chaitanya i will return he laughed <laughs> sanyas has given so that we give up the old identity but it just because he changed the name do you mean i will suddenly become no it takes its time ati yatnatah avagati paryantam sanvachyaya ichchaya karma avagati you have to work aparok up to aparoksha anubhuti you must be ready to work avagati paryantam sanvachaya ichchaya karma shankaracharya brahma sutra first sutra avagati paryantam up to that we have to so ati yatnatah all right so we have to differentiate it and that differentiation takes its own course of time and the practice that should be adopted is shravana manana nididhyasana reflection listening reflection meditation atmavare drashtavya shrotavyo vantavyo nididhyasitavya all right so how to see the difference between that jivatma and paramatma that that bodha bhasa and bodha Uh, how to see that now next verse he takes the methodology okay let us read the verse jagaras jagaras swapna yoreva boda bhasa vidambana suptau tu tallaye shuddha boda what is there in your book bodha is there and next word is shuddho okay mine is a shuddha bodho paata beta that's all so i will read what is there in mine okay suptau tu tallaye shuddha bodho jadyam prakashayet jagara swapna yoreva ಬೋಧಾಸ ವಿಡಂಬಣ ಸುಪ್ತೌ ತು ತಲ್ಲಯೇ ಶುದ್ಧ ಬೋಧೋ ಜಾಡ್ಯಂ ಪ್ರಕಾಶಯೇತ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿ
what is them here how to differentiate the bodha basa from the bodha so carefully observe both of them that is how we can differentiate if you want to know one thing is different from the other look at both of them carefully that's all you have to do okay how do i look at it carefully watch them how do you watch them watch their play in your life your life can be either in jagrad avastha swapn avastha sushupti avastha these are the three things so watch yourself and watch this watch yourself watch the bodha basa and watch the bodha in jagrad swapna and sushupti do that how do i do this way you observe i'll give you the clue say shankaracharya swapna jagarayo ho eva bodha basa vidambana vidambana the word vidambana is difficult to translate actually it means vyavahara the vyavahara of the bodha basa in english i can translate this way the masquerading there is a nice word in english m a s q u e r a d e am i right and how do you pronounce that mas mas masquerade huh? that's a nice word so in jagrat and swapna only you will find this bodha basa in all its glory in its all its pompous glory rutting around vidambana there only you will find this fellow jagrat and swapna waking in the dream state okay bodha basa there only you will find this fellow i i i i walking around everywhere only in these two states jagrat swapna yo ho eva bodha basa bodha basa expresses as a thought i the level the adda buddhi gata is it not so there you will find very closely with ahankara he will work this fellow ahankara and bodha basa very close they both have got what you call it as that 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 anunyata taptaya pindavan matam in another place it will be said taptaya like how the iron and the iron the red hot iron ball has got that you know iron ball and fire they come close and they become a tadatmi their identity the fellow you will find there swapna jagarayo ho eva the fellow is there suptau what happens in supti then in deep sleep suptau tu tallaye in supti what happens in sushupti tallaye the fellow would have gone laya means the fellow would have dissolved he will not be there why he is not there because it is bodha basa for abasa to happen what is required adhara is required i mean reflecting medium is required you to reflect yourself somewhere you need mirror the mirror is required if the mirror goes away what will happen to the reflection the reflection is gone in jagrat and swapna only you find the buddhi in sushupti what happens it has gone to the agnana karana sharira and therefore what happens sushtu suptau in deep sleep tallaye tallaye bodha basa laye then what is there there in in deep sleep do you experience that nothingness that jadyam that jatata ignorance do you experience that that which is illumining that ignorance sushuptau tu tallaye the bodha basa cannot illumine why bodha basa has dissolved has ceased tallaye then what will be there shuddha bodha that bodha that is there jadyam prakashayet illumining that agnana it is there so that one which you are experiencing in deep sleep that 
is both that is you are you able to see the difference between both bodha basa and bodha shankaracharya is asking us in swapna and jagara you find that i i i i i i that fellow when that fellow is not there who is there in deep sleep illumining that agnyana that is bodha you the consciousness got it he is asking us got it ah yes you mean to say this bodha is there only in deep sleep natural question let me explain to you it is there also in the waking state there also you can experience this bodha yourself when next verse we'll take up in the tomorrow session is very very experiential way of guiding this text that's a beauty shall we conclude ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ